Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas So for the mason jar with hot cocoa you're going to want to need the mason jar some chalkboard caps and I got these at Michael's some bells candy cane, ribbon of your choice, chalk, the cocoa powder, and some marshmallows. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab a spoon and add your cocoa powder into your mason jar about halfway. Then grab your marshmallows and add it to the mason jar all the way to the top. Now using your chalkboard caps, you're going to want to just screw it on on top of your mason jar. And then using your chalk, you're going to want to draw in whatever you want. Um, I ended up drawing in a snowflake. Now grab your bell and your ribbon. And what you're going to do is just tie the ribbon around, um, just cut it whatever length you want and then using your candy cane as well. Now you're going to want to put the bell in between, or not in between, inside the ribbon. And then just put it halfway and then put it around your mason jar and you're going to want to tie it. And once you tie it, just move the bell over to the center and tie your bow. And now you can just add your candy cane right in between um, the ribbon and the mason jar. Just fix it however you want. And this is how the mason jar turned out. It's a great gift and very delicious to give. So this one is one of my favorites. It's a candle with cinnamon sticks. So you're going to want to get a candle of your choice, some cinnamon sticks, your ribbon of your choice, a hot glue gun, a bell, and then what you're going to want to do is grab your hot glue gun and just glue um, just like a strand and then put your cinnamon stick on it and then just keep going all over until you reach the end of the cinnamon sticks. So this is how it should look once you have finished gluing all the cinnamon sticks. Now you're going to want to grab your ribbon and then just wrap it around the candle and then you're just going to want to cut however, um, with the, whatever length you want and then just wrap it around again and then you're going to want to glue just um, in the center, just both ends. And then you're going to want to just tie a knot. And then what I did is I ended up tying another knot just to secure it. Then what I did here is I ended up cutting the ends at an angle on both sides. Now using your hot glue gun, go ahead and glue the center where the knot is and then add your bell. And this completes the cinnamon candle. It is very easy to make and then you just light it up and then it starts getting the scent of the cinnamon sticks. Now on to the customized mug. This is a very easy one as well. You're going to want to get a white mug, two sharpies of any color you want, and anything that you want to add inside the mug. Now what I did is I printed out some stars and then I got some plastic wrap and I just measured which star would fit better on the mug. And what I did is I just cut out the star and you can add whatever you want. You can freehand anything on the mug or you can just print something out and just copy right over it. 
Now using a clear tape, you're going to want to just tape a little bit on the back of whatever you're going to draw just so that it can stay put. Now you're just going to want to go over it, um, just put dots on it or however you want to do it. I just ended up doing the dots and then what I did was I just took off the um, template and then I just started making more dots. Just be creative and however you want to do it. Now what I did here was I ended up getting a gold color and I ended up putting dots in between the other dots just, um, just to make it a little more um, nicer. Now I'm turning the back and I'm going to add um, whatever writing I want on it and this I ended up making a quote that my sister really loves and it's if you can dream it you can do it and this is by Walt Disney. So my writing is not as good but I'm sure yours will be. So what I ended up doing is I ended up putting the um, oven to 350 and then I ended up putting the mug inside for 30 minutes and make sure this is a heat proof oven proof mug then I took it out and I ended up putting after it cooled down whatever stuff that you want on it and then I covered it in the plastic wrap So I grabbed a red ribbon and I just ended up tying it around the plastic wrap and then I ended up cutting the edges also at an angle just to make it look nicer. And then I glued the center and I added a bell for the final touch. So this is how the mug ended up turning out. I love this because you can customize it however you want and add whatever you want inside of it. So this is all the three um, do-it-yourself gift ideas for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Keep in mind that these are very affordable and that you can customize them however you want. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a happy blessing holidays.